Chris Lawn. According to the Polaro report on racism at IRCC, some immigration officers consider immigrants from racialized countries to be, quote, corrupt, untrustworthy, or just wanted to come to Canada to collect social insurance. The caregivers program has been plagued with backlogs and ignored by the immigration minister. Applicants from work permits have expired while their applications are lost in this liberal-made backlog. Why are caregivers being stranded in the backlog? Is it because the minister also thinks they're just corrupt and untrustworthy? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Speaker, I thank the member for his question, and I sat at the same committee, and I certainly appreciate his advocacy on all uh, the questions that he's raised. But I want to be very clear, Mr. Speaker, there's zero tolerance for racism and discrimination in all aspects, in all the programs that we want to deliver. And the member very much know that there's been tangible actions that are happening in real time right now within our ministry, and I will be happy to follow up on his questions. Merci. The Honourable Member for Calgary Forest Lawn. Well, actually, no action has been taken on racism. Systemic racism is rampant in IRCC under this NDP Liberal government and is playing a role in the historic Liberal-made backlog. Neither the backlog nor racism are being addressed, and we know this because not a single person has been reprimanded or fired for racist behaviour as the backlog continues to rise. Yesterday, we found out IRCC managers even got bonuses, the same managers that are accused of racism. But this is the Liberal government's legacy of rewarding bad behavior. Why should any newcomer or their family trust this minister to do his job? Yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. I apologize earlier, Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker. Let me be very clear to this chamber. We have zero tolerance for racism and discrimination of any kind. And that's why IRCC has already worked hard to address racism and create real change, lasting change. We've already made significant progress from our anti-racism task force to new training to address unconscious bias. There's still much more things to do, and we are continue. We will continue working hard to eradicate all forms of discrimination and build an open, fair, and inclusive immigration system. Honourable Member for Edmonton West. Madam Speaker, it's no surprise that it's bloody cold in Edmonton in the winter, except to Service Canada, who is making seniors and the vulnerable wait outside the office for up to an hour before being led inside because this government has says it's unsafe for them to be inside because